Yeah. The entire film is being re-edited. The entire film is being reshot. The entire film is being redirected for the most part. Now, I'm sure because of legal contracts, it's going to say directed by Zack Snyder. Mm -hmm. But when you come down to like, well, if 50% of it has been rewritten and reshot by this other person. It could. It could give him. Hey, look. Why, why not a dual? By Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon? Why sure. not? It doesn't work that way in the DGA. Hector. So it doesn't work that oh, way. So, well, I personally. Just ask Frank Miller. I personally feel what will happen is. I mean, who will get credit for direct? So when they get directed by, it'll say Zack Snyder. Okay, it will. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Whedon is going to get an executive producer credit or some kind of thing like that. And he's, and he's, uh, my guess is he's directing Just League Two. They're just not announcing it. So I that's the smart right. play. I hope somebody's watching this and making that happen. Uh oh yes, at least he combed his hair. Um, <laughs> what's happening, film nerds? David, film junk here. Ah, all right then. Um, no, I'm not going to facepalm. Not going to. Um, what I find a little strange about this little uh, exchange on Collider Heroes from Mr. Schnepp, who has never really been a, a Snyder fan, even though it's very strange. I saw a very different side of him when he did his little review of uh, Batman or Superman Ultimate Edition. I mean, he was like, he, he said he almost did a full-on flip because he hated the theatrical version. He almost did a full-on flip, but it just seems like he's now got... And I love it, he's wearing, like, a, a hater's shirt. The, he's, he, this is what I'm talking about. What I always... Nerds now that are now up there, especially in this little community, man, do they just, like, love to fucking just lash out at the nerds because now they're, they've, they're, they're, they got picked on maybe in high school and school and stuff like that. They were never the popular kids, and now, you know, they're getting recognition, and now when they get shit, they just, now they're more like the bullies because it's their time now. It's very strange. It's a very strange thing that I've seen with a lot of people in the uh, nerd community. It's just they turn into fucking douchebags because I think they think it's their time now, and I know this is a totally different, totally different paradigm now with social media and everything, but it's like, I, I didn't get picked on enough. I got picked on in elementary school, but I didn't get picked on in high school. But I, I was friends with, I was nerdy, but I was also just kind of, I don't know. I'm not going to go into my whole history. Anyways, guys, so we got this right here. And Mr. Mister Schnepp, um, who has made himself a movie before. He's made movies, been in movies, or, you know, been involved in movies. He made an excellent documentary about the, uh, the fallen Superman movie that we almost got with Nicolas Cage and uh, Tim Burton. It was excellent, excellent flick. But how is it that... A movie five months away is going to be reshot, re edited, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> How? That's just not possible, Schneppies. Um, it's not. It's not possible. Now, I will retract that if they do go, hey, Justice League has now been postponed till summer of 2018. Then I'll retract. I will. Um, cause you never know that could happen and that's going to be a sad day for us. It's going to be a very sad day. Um, when it comes to all this and I know they were talking about Danny Elfman and everything. Um, I think it is pretty strange. Like I, I get what they're saying right there because it is two different score styles, you know, Junkie XL, but it's just, to me, it seems like Junkie XL. I don't know. Maybe they just weren't liking what Junkie XL had because it just, it didn't fully fit. I don't know. Because with Batman vs Superman, that's, the score for that was absolutely tremendous and beautiful. And it all worked together because you, it was him and Hans Zimmer. You know? Hans Zimmer has a very rock and roll, very metal type. If you watch one of his fucking concerts, holy shit. I mean, he's got a very metal-ish and it, and it worked. But maybe Junkie XL by himself didn't really work for Warner Brothers. I could see that. If you listen to... Deadpool. It worked for Deadpool, a small R-rated superhero movie that's very self-aware, and, you know, it's fucking Deadpool. But was it going to work with Justice League, you know? And I think the, the 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 relationship that Danny Elfman has had with the Warner Brothers, I think that just maybe is working better. I don't know. So they're, they're saying that, and, I mean, Schnepp might actually be right. Joss Whedon might direct Justice League 2. It could happen. Um, it's just all very strange. It's just, but when I kept hearing that he said that it's going to be reshot, re-edited, re-scored and everything, and I'm just going, well, well, the re-scored thing I could see because, I mean, usually the score starts being added about five months out. Um, and it just seems a little strange. I just can't, I can't buy that whole thing. I can't because 
We've already seen two basically trailers. We've seen all kinds of shit images, and they're already still they're marketing it already. I mean, look at this fucking. They got cyborg in a mother box. Cyborg figure in a mother box. That's fucking awesome. I'm sorry. I was gonna do a whole video on that, but I thought I'd just add it to this video. That's fucking awesome. I mean, so they're already like got everything put in motion. Why would they just completely reshoot it? Or why would they completely? I just think they're gonna do additional stuff. And yes, they're gonna sprinkle in some reshoots and everything, but it's just it just seems a little a little out there. And and this guy who knows movies, who's done movies, is saying it's gonna be all reshot. And don't even mention like, oh yeah, we're gonna get a new release date. That's what he should have mentioned because now he just sounds fucking stupid. Now it sounds like a big giant movie called The Justice League is gonna be reshot, re-edited, rescored in five months. I just no, Schnapp. No. But if they do announce a new re release date, yes, we're all gonna weep, and I'm gonna be like, okay, looks like sh looks like these guys are right. But we haven't gotten that yet. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the balls area, guys. What do you think about this? And uh, yeah, just let me know. Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel too. Follow me on the social media stuff floating above my head. Talk to you later.